We are going to talk about the data. Master data versus transaction data. We are going to divide data into two categories. The first category is master data. And the other is transaction data. Master data depicts people, places or things that an organization cares about. It would be the customer, the product, We can compare the master data to nouns and the transactional data to verbs. One describes a person, place a thing and others describe an action or an event that nouns participates in. Another way of decoding master data from transaction data is how often the data is changing. Master data must be consistent whether you are checking out at the cash register or at the company's website. Transaction data, on the other hand, is changing every time you buy something from the store. It means, one day you can spend $10 and on the second day you can spend $100. This thing is known as volatility. Another way of decoding master data from transaction data is how often the data is changing. Master data must be consistent whether you are checking out at the cash register or at the company's website. Transaction data, on the other hand, is changing every... So what is more important is how we manage master data versus transaction data. There are consistency issues with master data. The amount of data can be breathtaking, but everybody wants the data because it shows a snapshot of how the organization and its individual departments are performing. So what is more important is how we manage master data versus transaction data. There are consistency issues with master data. The amount of data can be breathtaking, but every... In the end, keeping an eye on both your master data and transaction data is important for managing everything. MOS can be your partner in building and simplifying that strategy because we understand what makes you successful. Thank you for watching this.